So let's say you've read through a poem for the first time. Maybe you've read it aloud, kind of worked through it a little bit. Now you're ready to close read it. The first step of this is looking through the literal elements of the poem, like the structural elements, any of the figurative language, the larger thematic meanings. We can save that for later. We're just going to focus on the most literal parts of the poem. Um, and this starts with asking kind of like, well, what's actually happening here? We're not reading between the lines. We're not looking any deeper. What is actually happening? What words are on the page? That could be a narrative. Like it could be a story with a beginning, a middle, an end, a character, and then this happens to them, and then this happens to them. Um, it could also be just looking through the, the vocabulary they've chosen. What language have they used? Are there any really like unusual or interesting vocabulary? Um, that could just be figuring out what do the words actually mean? Like, what is the literal definition of this word? I need to know what the literal definition of this is before I get into some of this figurative metaphorical stuff. So it's understanding what's actually on the page. Part of that could also be imagery. It could be understanding like what picture are they painting here? What senses are they engaging? What image is actually being described here? Um, let's work through this using Naomi Shihab Nye's poem, The Rider. So as I read through, you're thinking, you know, what is literally happening here? Is there a story? Um, what are the lines on the words on the page actually saying? It starts. A boy told me if he roller skated fast enough, his loneliness couldn't catch up to him. The best reason I have ever heard for trying to be a champion. What I wonder tonight, pedaling hard down King William Street, is if it translates to bicycles. A victory to leave your loneliness panting behind you on some street corner while you float free into a cloud of sudden azaleas, pink petals that have never felt loneliness no matter how slowly they fell. So reading through that poem, I think there's some really literal elements about this poem. Um, if we start with even like the first three lines here, a boy told me if he roller skated fast enough, his loneliness couldn't catch up to him. I think that can be read very literally. Maybe the, the speaker or the author had, you know, a, a kid come up to her and say, Hey, you know what? I'm going to like outscape my loneliness. You know, maybe it's not exactly what a kid would say, but we could read it fairly literal and imagine a kid, you know, on roller skates saying that. We don't have to maybe go any deeper than that. So a kid on roller skates says, you know, if I skate fast enough, my loneliness can't catch up to me. I think that's a pretty literal element. As we move forward, uh, Nye writes, it's the best reason I've ever heard for trying to be a champion. And like just out skating your loneliness or getting away from loneliness, that's a, a good reason to, to try to be the fast or something like that. I think this section, again, is very literal. So the speaker says, what I wonder tonight pedaling hard down King William Street is if it translates to bicycles. So this person, there's a little bit of a shift here now. You know, this boy said this. And tonight I'm thinking about, you know, I'm riding my bike down King William Street. I'm wondering, I'm like, does that same idea apply to bicycles? Like if you bike fast enough, can you um, out bike loneliness, something like that? But I think it's just very literal. If we want to imagine the speaker, the author um, riding their bike, thinking about, you know, so, so they're pedaling quickly down King William Street. The speaker's thinking, does that same idea apply to bicycles? Can you bike fast enough? Um one, if we're, so if that's kind of some literal what's happening, there's a little bit of a story we're following there. They heard this thing from the boy. They thought about it later when they were riding their own bike. Um, one word I had to look up in here, again, we're trying to figure out what do things literally mean, um, was this word azaleas. Um, it's an uncommon word, an unusual word. I, I looked it up. Azaleas is like a specific flower. Um, a lot of the images I found looked exactly like this one, this kind of like... Um, cluster of pink flowers. And I think that kind of connects to obviously the next phrase. Um, but part of this, again, is me trying to just understand what is actually saying. So there's a kid on roller skates, then this person's riding their bike. Um, there's some flowers. On a literal level, we're working through um, what's you know, literally on the page. We're not reading between the lines yet. And I think that's this kind of makes a little bit more sense you know there's like pink petals that makes it, it's talking about flowers there literally we can come back to the figurative language later but at this point we're just working to understand that kind of base level literal literal understanding of the poem